Okay, we're going to do an apple pie pinwheel. These are super easy to make. Um, you can make them more difficult. Uh, if you want to make your own puff pastry, that would make them a whole lot more difficult. Quick and easy way is Pepperidge Farms puff pastry. Okay, that's what this is. You can also use a canned apple pie filling. I would probably add a little bit more cinnamon. I made this myself. This is uh, six cups of chopped um, peeled apples, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of regular sugar, two tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon cinnamon, and a dash of cloves, and about a teaspoon of nutmeg. And then I just cooked this on the stove top for maybe 10 minutes just to soften it a hair. Because um, the pinwheels don't bake that long. So I wanted to make sure that the apples weren't super crispy in them. So you just take your mix. It sounds awesome. Well, we want it a little thick because we don't want it to gooify the... No, I'm just saying the sound <laughs> of that is like awful. So we're going to take some of our mix and we're going to spread it onto our puff pastry. We're just spreading it out nicely. I think I'm going to grab a glove so that I can spread it out with my hand. Real quick lack. Any type of glove is fine. It could be a work glove. <laughs> yeah, it could be a right. revolving glove. I have kitchen gloves. Could you imagine using a welding glove on that? Gross. How about a how about one of those gloves that you uh, shed out a dog with? <laughs> Ew. Well, now you just made it disgusting. <laughs> and and a welding glove isn't. Uh, no, it's not. Well, there's nothing inherently disgusting about a welding glove. <laughs> Well, I'm there's nothing saying. inherently disgusting about a, a dog shedding glove either. Kind of. No. Yeah. Okay, so you guys see basically it's just a nice little flattened out section. Prefer to keep it off of the very edge because we kind of want to seal our ends. Um, I've also got I've got a cookie sheet over here with parchment paper lined on it. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to take this and we're going to roll it. This is nice if you got company coming and you just want something a little different but quick and easy. Yeah, and you can also fill it with cayenne pepper depending <laughs> on the company. No, I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, it depends on the company. It'd be a great idea. I don't think that would be a good idea under any circumstances. You know what? Just saying. With people in our family, yeah. <laughs> I'd do it. Yes, but I'm known for being a good baker and cooker and stuff like that, so I wouldn't want to change that. Okay. So now, if you notice, I'm just squishing these ends flat so that I can cut them. It kind of looks like a great big cinnamon roll. Take a big old bite. Yummo! Oh, I'll take a raw bite out of it. Okay, so there we've got that. Now, I'm not going to cut on my silicone mat, which you almost saw me do. Yeah, that would have been dumb. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just take little slices and these are roughly an inch and I'm using a um, this is actually a bread knife and it works very well for this if you want to use something else I've heard you can use plain dental floss and that that is supposed to cut cut well. Okay, now we're going to repeat those steps on another piece. 
and then we will have that ready and we are preheating our oven to 400 degrees and we'll be back when they come out of the oven. Oh, um, they are going to cook for about 15 minutes. There you go. We'll check them in 10 minutes. So about check at 10 minutes, but 15 minutes, 400 degrees. And I like to do parchment paper. If not, lightly grease your sheets. And we'll see you in a few minutes. So here are our apple pie pinwheels out of the oven. I consolidated them down to one pan even though I did cook them on two. I probably could have done it on one but I wanted to be sure they had enough room. Also very important as soon as you get them out of the oven loosen them from the parchment paper otherwise they will stick even to parchment paper. So the last thing we're going to do for these is we're going to make just a quick little glaze to put over them this is about a cup of powdered sugar and maybe half a teaspoon of vanilla and a couple drops of milk and we'll stir this to get a consistency that's going to be appropriate for our glaze and that obviously is not it, that's a little too thick yet with this it's, it's simply you just keep slowly adding in milk until you get the right consistency. And preferably you don't spill all your powdered sugar all over your counter like I seem to do very 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 well. And I'm not used to not having comments from my peanut gallery. Your peanut gallery is tired. <laughs> People I guess told me, told, people told me to keep my mouth shut. Oh, so. they can kiss my butt. No, they probably won't. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so here's a nice little glaze. You can use a uh, a candy making vanilla, and then your glaze won't turn dark like this. But most people don't really care. So we're going to take this glaze over here and we're just going to drizzle it. I'm glad I don't have dozens and dozens of these to do. This gets old after a while. Yeah, so do you. <laughs> I've been old for a long time, so... Yeah, and I've just fell old. You're an old soul. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Oh, there they go to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, what's life without hearing the dogs going crazy? Could you imagine if we had, like, actual yappers? Can you imagine if we didn't have any dogs at all? That'd I don't weird. know if that would be possible. Oh, there we go. Doesn't help the neighbor's dog is barking up a fucking storm. They want to make sure that they get on, yep. on tape. Yep. They've got to. Uh-oh, I'm going to have to make some more. Okay, well, they don't need to see that. So. No. But this is what you do. Yep. This is what it looks like. And so give this a try when you've got, you can do it for company, you can do it for your family, you, you can do, do it, it for yourself. yourself. All of it. So these are just In a real one quick... sitting. <laughs> oh, that would be sickening. All of it. You can, uh, this is just a real quick, unique, different thing to do with um, apple pie stuff. So we will see you on our next video. I think we may do some baked apples. See you later.